I'm finally back in Lisbon and I'm super excited to be here. So today we're going to Sesimre, a town just 40 kilometers south of Lisbon, which is well known for its attractive beaches. I've literally been wanting to go to Sesimre since about 2019 when I first came to Lisbon. In order to get to Sesimre, we have to cross the Ponte do 25 de Abril and it's one of Lisbon's famous landmarks. And this is actually the only north-south route into Lisbon crossing the river. Due to its similarities with San Francisco's bridge, it's actually nicknamed Portugal's Golden Gate Bridge too, but this is not the name. So the date is special, the 25th of April, because on this day, Portugal toppled an authoritarian government and basically ended fascism without any violence. On the way we passed Cristo Rey, the Christ statue of Lisbon, and it's one of Lisbon's most iconic monuments. This statue is the seventh tallest Christ statue, well that was a tongue twister, in the world. And the tallest is actually in Poland. <laughs> We just almost ran over some goats, but we are on our way to Sosimbra Castle, which has famous history way up until like the 1100s. Portuguese history, Arab history, and it had a really big importance in Portugal's history, including looking out for pirates. So you can walk around the walls, which we're going to do, and it has views of both Sosimbra and on the other side, the Atlantic Ocean. I love hiking but I hate being around plants and like things getting caught in my hair so this is gonna get tucked in. Trying to find Praia de Ribeira do Cavalo, I didn't realise how hidden it actually was but it was honestly really worth it. Ow! Holy moly! That is what you call beautiful. Okay we have to go all the way down here so Probably not the smartest idea to film it, so I'll see you on the other side. Big car. Go on. This is genuinely one of the most beautiful beaches I've ever seen with my own eyes. So we had to leave fairly quickly as the sun was starting to set and it took about 20-30 minutes to get down and we didn't know how long it was going to take us to get back up in time before it got dark. This is genuinely the aftermath. Mounds of sweat, strategic bag placement, half jumper on, half off. It's still out to Stopped off at Little to get some well-deserved snacks after that little hike. So we have some juice, some water, pastel de nata, which is a famous pastry here, equivalent to the English custard chart, more or less. Um, 
and chorizo, pao con chorizo, chorizo con pao. Pao con chorizo. Pao con chorizo, which is like chorizo within a pastry. Really, really nice when hot. No. <laughs> chorizo with bread with chorizo. Which is... <laughs> Which before bread they just like put the chorizo inside and then they just involve everything. Which is basically chorizo within bread, which is really nice when warm. What else did you get? A sausage roll. Cheese and ham roll. A cheese and ham roll and some snacks for later, so we are good to go. So now we are on our way to dinner and we're going, heading back to Lisbon to eat in a restaurant called Butcher. If it's got heaters, but I don't think it does. So for starters, we ordered bolo de gago, which is a circular flatbread served with garlic butter. Com manteiga dos Açores e alho. And why is it famous in Portugal? This one? It's a typical type of bread from Madeira. The steaks we tried were pequeña, which is typical in Brazil, and entrecot. For dessert, we ordered a chocolate brownie with tangerine sorbet and a chocolate mousse. But now I'm about to enjoy my dinner, so I'll see you in the next video, and thank you for watching.